So I want to know at that moment, what trigger in your head, you know, that took you to drive all the way to the library and get tons of books uh, about writing and, and bring home and read them though? Well, actually, they, I, I've left out a, just a little interlude that was really the motivator, that really gave me the courage yeah. to make this change. And that is when my husband was in the hospital and when I knew I had had this conversation with him, uh, I had an organization that contacted me and asked me if I would like to write for them. And that would be, a, you know, a paid assignment. Not, most of the time you just write a book and you hope you get paid, you hope people buy it. Mm. But back then they were going to actually pay me for this series of uh, curriculum and I was teaching school doing some substitute teaching to make ends meet while he was in the hospital mm. and um, I I said I I just I want to go do that assignment but I can't do that because they want to do some training you have to go to a conference and now I'm working full-time and how can I you know teach at school how can I do that and so I was just I stayed awake for like three nights I did not sleep I was so uh, so stressed mm -hmm. about our future for the family and so I got up it was about three o'clock in the morning I got my Bible I walked into my family room I sit down and I think god I have to have an answer I'm gonna mm -hmm. go crazy here if I don't have an answer and I feel like it was just this clearest thought as a bell right quit your job and write and I it was such a strong feeling mm -hmm. such a strong thought that I thought this is it. This is I'm going to do this. And so I went into school the next morning to my principal and I said, look, I want to start. This was like in November, late November. And I said, I want to offer my resignation at midterm, which would have been the middle of January. And he said, oh, no problem. He said, that's kind of routine. We hate to see you go, but just write out your resignation letter. And, uh, you know, I'll present and said there happens to be a school board meeting tonight and I will actually present it at the school board meeting. And so I thought, great, I, I understand, God, this is my purpose, God's purpose for my life. Everything's cool. And on the, it, like I said, this was a small town. I'm driving into school the next morning, and I hear they give all this, you know, local news on the, on the radio. And I hear that as I'm driving, it says the local school board meets, uh, met last night in session, and they voted to do this, that, and the other. And all of a sudden they said, and they voted to reject Diana Bua's resignation. And I thought, oh, I, I was sure that's what I was supposed to do. I was sure that was my purpose for life. How could this happen? And so I parked the car, walked into the principal's office, and I said, what happened? You told me it was just routine. If I resign, they always accepted your resignation. And he said, well, that's generally true. But in your case, the reason they rejected it is we don't have anybody else to teach Spanish. That we have absolutely no applicants. And so they're not going to let you out of your contract. And so, of course, what that meant is I couldn't accept the writing assignment. I couldn't do what I, I felt was my calling. And so I just stood for another four days, four days. I thought, what am I going to do? <laughs> and the fourth, in, in four days, the principal sends a note to my conference period while I was teaching and said, see me after school. <laughs> so I go down to his, his office after school and he said, guess what? He said, I just had a call from a woman who's looking for a job and she's moving back to the city to take care of her mom and she wants to teach Spanish. Uh. <laughs> and so he said, so the bottom line, we're going to let you out of your contract. So I think your question was, you know, what motivated me? What kept going? I think it was knowing that God had a purpose for me. This was my purpose. This was my passion. And just that sort of double confirmation, you know, mm. that I got an invitation to start writing and a paycheck for it, but also that teacher moving back out of the blue in the middle of the year saying to this small school, I want to teach Spanish. Yeah. So that's get every time I get discouraged when I'm writing and I think, you know, is anybody going to read this book? I think back to those incidences and they give me, you know, encouragement and confidence to keep going. Yeah.